And with the big delay over, we're back here in the arena with uh, Lasers vs. Pancakes. Uh, we have a beautiful match, Boundary Experts vs. Fancy Pants, and uh, Mod, please tell us what they got. Yeah, so uh, Boundary Experts have bought Triple Bar Guest, a Guardian, Pontifex, Double Arbitrator, Punisher, Garmer, Skybreaker, and Fancy Pants, um, choosing to go Triple Apoc, Ashimu, Magus, Double Deacon, Confessor, and two Vexers. Yeah, both teams bringing out the weird cruisers here, like Ashimu and then Arbitrators. Obviously, the Arbitrators bringing the tracking disruptors, but the Ashimu bringing slightly longer webs and some and some sucking power. Definitely an interesting matchup we're going to be seeing here for sure. Obviously, a couple of Vexers. These are definitely new Vexers. They've got no guns again. So that's perfectly Yeah, normal. it'll be... It'll be really interesting to see if these arbitrators how they're split between um, missile guidance disruption and tracking disruption. Because if those arbitrators win all in on missile guidance, they're going to be in uh, for quite a surprise. So we'll see in a couple seconds when those um, napox get locked up. What's quite going on there? Uh, speaking of what's going on, um, that Garmer is already down into low shield here. Um, yep. So the Arby's we'll as well. How, but they're all getting pounded. Yeah, and we see uh, tracking disruption, but not quite spread across the core of Navy Apox, leading me to think that they were split between uh, missile guidance and um, tracking disruption going 50-50. So one of the Napox not quite getting disrupted here. One of the things, though, that is getting disrupted is the armor of Cassie Jirl down into low armor here, um, getting absolutely pounded by those long-range missiles on the bar guest. I don't want to call it too early, but I think he's just, never mind, I was going to say just about going to hold, but they're finally breaking through a bit. Must be heating the reps. He just got, got an absolute swarm of rep drones on him at the moment, as well as, of course, his logic trying to save him. If he survives long enough, this might be trouble for the um for these Bargas, because they are gonna not ha they're going to be clip-based. They're going to run out of clips soon. Yeah, I'm just kind of counting the missiles. Usually, um, yeah, the, the Bargas are going to be on reload now, so... We see the attack bar drop off pretty hard, and um, Casey Jurel is going to, you know, get rep back nearly fully here. Um, now that those uh, bar guys who destroy Liam and Avery are, you know, on their reload at the moment, but the confessor just get, gets gets absolutely one tapped. I'm not yeah. quite sure what exactly that was. That that might have been maybe a bug, a bug saving like a missile or two and just doing like a one shot. But it looks like the Apoch Navy are trying to go for the bugs. They can't kill the arbitrators under this tracking trap. It's like, you know what? Fine then. We don't need tracking to shoot a bar guest. It's a pancake. It's literally the size of a barn door. We're all good. So they're trying to go for this bug now, but honestly, taking down a fully armored bug with a guardian repping it, that is also a tall art. Looks like both teams are honestly kind of fumbling the start. It's definitely testing each other out for sure. Yeah, they're testing things out, and one of the difficulties that um you know fancy pants is going to have being just tracking disrupted, and they are deciding to close in. They're decided we're tired of trying to fight at range. They're going to close with their knee pox is that they realize that if they're just going to shoot scorch, they're not going to break every Lewis. Um, the reactive armor hardener will cycle and will sustain him. Uh, however, uh, the Magus of Zarothal is apparently wasn't locked because he was taking significant damage uh, without getting any reps for some time. And if that Magus goes down, that's all the links for fancy pants. And it's gone. Oh, that may not, that won't hurt for now, but in about a minute or two, you're gonna watch the team start to suffer through lacking their links. This is slowly going against fancy pants. They need to really like put down the hurt with those navy apox, which we know they can do. But these arby's are almost like a perfect counter to them, removing that tracking bonus effectively. Yeah, I mean you're in a very awkward position where you get tracking disrupted at range and you have to close, um, or you're just going to get picked apart by bar guests that uh, while you know, they don't have the most survivable of tanks. They have a lot of utility, and they have a lot of projection, and we can see that that's been what's picked apart the Magus and the Confessor when the Deacons were caught slipping. Yeah, I had a quick look as well. It looks like the um the Ashimu's trying to, like, nude out this Punisher, trying to tackle him, so he's trying to, like, be a bit of a screen himself. Doesn't seem like it's quite working. This Arbitrator does take occasionally, like, very hard hits, but the Guardian's been keeping him up like an absolute champ. Yeah, so what the Garmer did here is he used himself to basically screen off the Ashimu. So the Ashimu, what he wanted to do was use his bonus um, webs to the range and his bonus newts, basically a mini Balgorn, was to get on top of Gon's apples in the Guardian and web them down and basically shut off um, anything he could do with those newts. And the Garmer got in his way, screened him off. So 
now you're in a very awkward position if you're in fancy pants, even more so now that you're being grappled and webbed yourselves by those bar guests. I'm just kind of wondering what these Vexes are up to. Looks like the Vexes are currently going in as well. That's good to see. But I'm trying to figure, like, what are they aiming for? I think they're going to go for a bug. Yep. All right. They're all inning the bug here. They're sending everything. And the Vexes are going in for the nuding power. This is an, they're all in an attempt to try and beat that bug down before the Navy APOC goes down. I, goes, I guess you've got yeah, to go no. for it. Yeah, and now that you're being screened off in your Navy APOCs, um, you basically have to commit to the Stoya here, who is now receiving a cloud of uh, medium rep bots and uh, damage zones. It just looks like a giant um, ball around him, just a swarm of everything. And oh, look at one of the things that these Navy APOCs lack is kind of those utility smart bombs to really clear those off. Yep, but the first Navy APOC for fans fans is starting to go down. I feel like these Vexes could have been like when useful. They were nuding out these arbitrators, the ones that are pretty much making these Apox worthless. And when this first one goes down, that's going to make the tracking even worse for the next one. This is going to start snowballing even more. Yeah, we saw how fast uh, Lush managed to drop once those Magus links expired about a minute, minute and a half ago. And, you know, the Bargus at this point are going to have no trouble chewing through this Vexer of Druby. They just pop in very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if Cassie will, was the next, and he will be in the next primary. Um, these bar guests are just going to work through the core. Uh, once those Vexers are off and those drones are no longer a threat, they'll eventually work through the Ashimu and the Navy Apox. I think they're just going to sweep this 100-0 to zero wing nut. Yeah, I'm pretty much with you there now, man. Like They had an opportunity there. They, they tried for it. I think they kind of like maybe squandered it a bit by having the Vexers try and newt out the bar and try and newt out these damn arbitrators. But yeah, at this point, they're kind of like in deep trouble. There's not really a play they can make. They can't shoot the RBs. They've tried. They can't shoot the bug. It's tanking. They, they could try and shoot the Guardian, but, I mean, good luck. They're kind of just stuck with, you know, up shit creek without a patter right now. Whoops. Yeah, and that's one of the awkward situations that you do put yourself into. So Navy Apox, they get excellent bonuses to tracking and to their range. But as a result, um, they don't output a lot of damage, like, say, in a bad end. Um, and as a result, you have to close to range. You basically have to get on top of the Guardian and kill it, or at least kill the Lynx to remove that utility. And if you don't have that, you're not going to break through battleships, and we're seeing that be the case, that Gond Apples is now finally getting primary if you see some damage onto him, but, I mean, it's just way too little too late with only three minutes left in the match. A quick mention as well is that every pretty much every single ship on this comp of um, Banning Experts has anywhere between 25 to 50 MB of drone bay. So they've just been f spraying out the rep drones, so it, it making it even more impossible to actually get a kill here. And that's honestly, that is a lot of repping power. Yeah, people, especially those in newer teams, really underestimate how much um, those Lodgy drones really can be. If you have flights of heavies on you, you effectively have a second you know, Guardian on your team, and, you know, Guardians being 16 points as they are, you kind of um, sort of appoint yourself um, with how much Lanji um, you really can have um, as we see another Navy APOC of Katarina drop, and now those Deacons being uh, chased after uh, will have uh, scrams and webs on them shortly, getting nuded out, and... Here's an interesting thing. Look at that Guardian with only one Napoc around. I mean, it's starting to fill back up with, with two, but at the start, they might actually have the DPS to just break the Guardian straight out. That That's probably going to hurt if that, that, that is actually the case, because that Guardian was actually going down quite a bit. That They could have yeah, maybe gone yeah. for the Kingslayer and just killed it. Yeah, the Guardian didn't quite have um, a lot of Rep Drones on top of him initially when he was taking damage, and then... They were up, the bar guests were, you know, on top of the ball and did apply those drones. But I mean, this was excellence from the boundary expert support core. We saw the Skybreaker and the Garmer and the Punisher combine six points worth of damage, basically screen out any sort of tackle from the Vexers, the Confessor, and, you know, those Deacons. Uh, once you prevent your Guardian from being held down and, you know, muted and tackled, he can basically pilot free and just you know, happily sit and just rep without having to worry about his positioning or having to worry about being, you know, primary himself. Yep, absolutely bravo to Boundary Experts. This is actually a quiet performance. The very start seemed a bit rough for them, but they they just came straight through and pile drove this team after. So honestly, bravo. It's a great comp and it's well flown. 
these last two Dickens are just about to die in split seconds between each other, so it's not going to be long for this world. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking what we're seeing out of uh, Boundary Experts. I think they executed this um, fairly well. Um, we're seeing now that as we're getting deeper into the tournament, um, you know, more of these armor Varga setups, more of these kind of like armor nightmare setups, setups that these lower level teams aren't quite really ready for. Um, I'm sure that Broadcast Studio will have plenty to say about that one. Uh, so uh, for Wing, Unt, and myself, uh, goodbye and have a good one.